Right, continue, Sam, with however you need to do it. Right, uh, well, my week's been pretty good, actually. Don't care. Callum, what's your stuff? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, hello. Uh, oh, it's, I've got a question for you, boys. Okay. All right. Cool. <sighs> I don't like this sigh. I was I was walking down the road. It's uh, quite a while ago, and I, I saw a little dog crying. It, it being run over by a car. I could I can only imagine that's what happened. And I watched it squirming around looking for help, and I was the only living thing around it that could do anything to ease its pain. And the dog looked me dead in the eye, and I could see its anguish. And I thought to myself, I need to be a hero. And it saved this little dog's life. But then I gathered so much needed clarity and realised, and fuck it, there's only a Yorkshire Terrier. And I just walked on past. But then, on my way back, the dog wasn't there. It was now on the roof of the garage near where I found it, with a bionic leg. And the leg doubled as a Pez dispenser. At this point, the dog shouted me over, referring to me only as Kevin. And it said to me in a Teesside accent, Hey, Kev! You fancy a few Pez from a new leg leg? I'm not a fancy fucker around, it's just like necessity, you know what I mean? I declined the Pez, and on my return the following day, the garage was gone, and it was now a large-scale office for a company called Dog Pez. <laughs> I walked into the foyer, and I found the CEO to be none other than that very dog. And from behind me, I heard, Hey, you kidder! Do you fancy your job or something, like? So there, I found myself working as a PA to a Yorkshire Terrier for 25 years, only retiring last week, and on the day... After my retirement, I walked out of that building and turned round for one final look, only to find there was never an office at all and it was just a garage and the dog was now ash and the Pez dispenser was a hollowed out banister leg full of Tic Tacs. So, what I'm trying to say, lads, my question is, what's your favourite seafood and why? <laughs> Good. Uh, uh, so, favourite seafood? Favourite seafood and why? Uh, crab. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I think mine's just any type of sushi. I love sushi. Um... I, I I do love a good bit of crab. Uh, if we're talking fish, uh, I, I love sea bass. I love uh, monkfish. Monkfish is really nice. Well, lemon sole is an underrated fish. Ooh. Oh, that's actually true. Actually. I love calamari. Mm-hmm. Calamari. But, uh, we're leading up to the star of the show, and the star of the show is crab sticks in mayonnaise, oh. shredded, of course, as it as it comes like a sandwich filling, yeah. in a nice brown bun. Mm-hmm. Oh. Stack that puppy up, nosh that fucker down. This is a film po- podcast, by the way. <laughs> I like how we're just going to repeat this. Yeah. This is a film podcast, by the way. Yeah. Well, that's a way to get the punters in, isn't it, what we just started with? <laughs> so, yeah. Ad Astra. So, uh...